All right. Welcome back to the Board Drill Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Kyle Bradburn. Not with us tonight is Matt Dixon. He had a prior obligation, um, but good news is we are here with Coach PJ Gibbs at Community School of Naples and the author of the Fast and Physical Three Safety Defense. Coach, welcome to the Board Drill Podcast. Coach, it's awesome to be on here, man. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Yeah, Coach, we're excited to have you tonight. I know we're going to talk some um, some three high safety coverages. So it's a, an exciting thing for us. You know, I, I love talking about this stuff. I'm always very interested. I'm a former defensive back myself. I started as a defensive backs coach. So coverage is my thing, and I love talking it. So without further ado, Coach, take us away, and let's let's learn some coverage. Yeah. So I mean, um, for, I mean, for us, uh, one thing I want to stress is like we are. Uh, a three safety system and in a sense where we want to get athletes on the field. Right. So yep. um, we do have some three high um, tendencies as far as, you know, straight across, you know, um, but for, for us, that, that middle safety, we call him our Rover. Uh, he's kind of like our chess piece. So like when we, when I first did this system uh, back in 2020, I was the head coach of the Japanese national team. Um, yeah, I watched played, that podcast the other day, actually. So it was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, no, it was it was really cool, man. Like, so knowing that we were going in like under undersized, overmatched physically and athletically, it was like, well, the guy's an RPO guy, so how can we use our our advantages to kind of combat what they're going to do to us? So um, we, I, I reached out to Iowa State. Uh, Tyson Vett, who's now the DC at Cincinnati, uh, was kind enough to zoom with me before I put my playbook together and um, we just came up because we have five days to get ready. So we basically <laughs> just came up with, you know, the basic premise of how do we line up to 10? How do we line up to, you know, two by two, three by one, why in the core, why off the core? Like, you know, like just because again, you only have five days. So um, mm -hmm. then we, you know, translated that to, you know, down here in Florida, and in 2020, that fall, we had the number one defense in the area. We only gave up 6.9 points a game. Wow. Um, the big, and then this year, this past year at Golden Gate, um, we uh, were the number one defense in Southwest Florida, and we won the district, won the conference. We were the number one seed in our region. Uh, uh, gave up a little bit under 15 points a game. Um, you know, so the, the biggest thing with the coverage aspect, like you, you and I were kind of email back and forth, the biggest thing with the coverage aspect is it, it, they're all about numbers, right? Yeah. Like for, for us, it's like, all right, well, you're going to face an RPO coach. The RPO coach doesn't want to hand the ball off. The RPO coach wants to pull it, read a defender, get the ball out on the perimeter, right? So how, how can we kind of mess with that? And so I'll, I'll pull up my... Um... Yeah, and just a brief thing. If you're pulling up any film on huddle or anything like that, just slow mo it and it shows very well on this end. Yeah, I was gonna. Um, I was. Gonna, I, I'm gonna pull up our, like our actual spring install. Okay. Yep. See if it pulls up here. Um, Perfect. Yep. I see it. You, you see it. Awesome. Okay. So, um, talking about three by one. So th this this is our this is our Apache call. So basically, um, we're a big trap and a big uh, Tam Tampa two team. Um, you know. So basically. For our Apache call, we, we go four over three. So we, I mean, when we install it, like basically like we're, we're going to play uh, three over two Tampa here, our middle safety. Now the thing coach that I want, I should have emphasized um, in, a, in, a, in a, uh, about a minute ago was our middle safety for our defense has to be our best player. So yeah. like he has to be like, if it's fourth and one and there's a state championship on the line and you want a guy making a tackle, that's the guy you want making a tackle because for the most part, he's going to be your free hitter. He's going to be the guy that's free to the football. So um, we, we play Tampa two over here and, and then he's got three control. And, and we, I tell him like a hitch is three, especially we get that loaded formation where you go the back to this side and they, yeah. they try to fake the inside zone and bang this hitch to number three. That that's what we do now. The, the, the really, uh, I, I like this because for our kids, it was extremely simple. Um, we, always, we we have three single receiver rules backside. Um, blue for us is trap. Indiana for us is invert. Or ace for us is bracket. So 
Um, so based on based on the receivers with, and the thing is like, and it, and this is like I, I tell a lot of coaches that, that I talk to about the defense is like, if you're gonna trap, this corner needs to know like, listen, like if if we call blue and he's trapping and we get speed option, he's got to giddy up. He has to fit in the run. Yep. Yeah, he's you know, a run so, fitter once you call trap. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yes, sir. So like that, that they're like, oh, he just shovels. I'm like, yeah, but if it's run his way, he he's going. You know. Um, and then we get a really wide split. We'll go Indiana. So basically, we're just playing two invert. Um, and now, if this guy's a cat, we can bracket him backside. Now, to go into our previous discussion um, before we got on 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 air was we talked. You were talking about the uh, Saban Pruitt. You, you know your roots, right? Yeah. So th- this year we put in um, basically put in uh, Stubby, which was our red, which was yeah. you know the corner was Meg here. We were basically two read with the Viper and the safety. And I kept the Rover in the middle of the field and we bracketed number one. Yeah. Um, you know, so that, that was kind of, I, I went up to uh, Florida in the spring and, and, and Coach Armstrong, who's a big uh, Coach Roberts guy from Auburn. Um, is it, isn't the, Ron Roberts there now? He's there now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, he's, yeah. I think he's like the, the uh, like associate, like, defensive guy like he he's like the dude behind the dude you know he's the guy that tells him not a good idea do this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Austin, Austin this isn't a good all right coach I got you you know um so yeah so so that that's kind of how we handle three by one now if, if I can get to if I get to two by two here let me yeah okay. wait, coach real quick can actually can you go back to that can you talk yeah. a little bit about your bracket and like what are the specific rules you teach with that corner and safety on bracket so so for any anytime we bracket a receiver so like our yellow, our yellow coverage is basically we're going to bracket with, and that's the beauty of the three safety is you can bracket multiple players. Yeah, you know, so like, um, so let let's say we were gonna we were gonna ace this here. So the corner and the safety, the safety be a little tired. He'd be about at, at about eight, um, as opposed to the invert where he's walking down into the slant window and, and as a force defender too. Um, I just tell my guys, listen, you play your leverage. So if if we get if we if we get an under the safety's going to drive it the cor- the corner's going to zone off. Yeah. If we get a vertical, he's going to play the outside route, he's going to play the inside route. So if we got a corner, he's going to play through his hands, he's going to play over the top. If we got a a post, he's going to play through his hands, he's going to play over the top. And then yeah. and then the thing too, it's it's kind of like we kind of cone it a little bit in a sense where like if we're going to play bracket this Jack knows now that if we if we get a wheel, he has to take the wheel. Yeah. But back to your question, I did. We, we'll, we'll do a drill where if we're going to run a lot of bracket, like, hey guys, listen, just play your leverage. Like, there's no reason for this corner if he goes under, you don't need to chase. Correct. Right. You're going to zone off. Okay. Um, if we get a vert, it's basically a vice, and then based on his 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 movement past eight to ten yards. That's going to tell these two guys kind of how they're playing that bracket, whether they're playing over the top or through the hands. Yeah. No, it makes a lot of sense. I, I like to go over that because a lot of coaches always ask me a question. They're like, you know, we, we are the old school again, Saban Cone. And they're like, what yep. are the, you know, what's the exact things? I'm like, I'll go through or the, you know, so I, I always right. ask that with coaches because I'm going to get that question at some point. Well, and I mean, again, you look at this picture, this is like the ideal cone slide, right? With the, with the yep. split. In the back to him, you know. Oh yeah, and you know? right, and then in in the Sabanese, right, you have Connie where it tells it yeah. Jack can now take the under, and the corner will take the wheel by the the running back as well. So it's yeah, funny yeah, enough. Sir. I was watching yeah. that tape earlier today. I I really the thing is I really enjoyed going up because I was trying to find ways different ways to play trips because yeah. like you know the the whole thing is it, it, for us it's like what do we do with our best player. You know, do we, you know, are, are they spreading us out to throw it or are they spreading us, us out to run the ball? Yeah. You know, so it's like if they're spreading us out to run the ball, let's let's play stubby yeah. and keep and keep him here. Or let's the hell with that. Let, let's just play. Let's keep him here and play three buzz. Right. So, like, it, it, you know, it's just basically that's the beauty of the defense is like you can kind of pick and choose with this guy. What do you want? Now, if this guy's a, a, a really good you know, route runner and you want your best player on him, then by all means yep. call Apache. But this is kind of like our, our day one check to trips before we get in, in, into any of the complicated stuff is so, straight up. 
in your right, this is a, a trap too. You're saying all the way across. Uh, we can. No, the thing is, oh, I, yeah, I'm sorry. What do you guys run into the three receiver? So, so we can play Tampa straight, okay. straight old school Tampa half safety. You know, apex defender between two and three. Um, or if we're if we're going to trap it, if we're going to trap it, the corner is going to undercut one and sink, and then the viper has two up or in. Up and in. Okay, yeah. So, so, so that's kind of like our, 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 like, you know, so other pressures we, we play, we'll play straight trap, but like, to me, it's all about, you know, why are you spreading me out? Like, are you spreading me out to to run the quarterback or are you spreading me out to, Hey, the heck with that? Like, let, let's let, you know, if they're, if you're trying to throw the ball, well, we have numbers everywhere. I mean, look, you know, we're three over two to the back. We're four over three to the, to the trip. So we have an advantage. Now, again, if you plus with the quarterback running the ball, We'll do some different stuff, but it's just that that's kind of our thought process. Yeah. That's running the quarterbacks cheating. It is. No, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. No, I, I, I agree. I agree hundred percent. Um, I wanted to go to, yeah. So now, th- so this is like um, two by two uh, for us. So this is like de- the, our first day, you know, all right, coach, you know, how, how you know, what are we going to do? So, so we'll play. Tampa or trap again, three over two, basically playing like Pat Narduzzi quarters, pre- and we'll press mm-hmm. the corner over here. Now the Rovers' rule before we get in- into any of the fun stuff is is to align to number three. So in this case, in two by two, the back is number three. So he plays over the back at about eight yards, and he flat foot reads it. Now again, coach, as you know, we'll get like a inside zone or a power you know fake rpo with they want to bang this backside slant but they're reading the jack and and i took my, my two inside linebackers they know they they don't have to worry about an rpo because they have guys around them right so like yeah he's our low hole robber and also two he's our inside zone the quarterback fitter on, on zone read so he is he is literally flat foot reading at eight and he's not fast. He's just a flat foot reader at eight. So, like, if we do get, you know, our, our offense would call it uh, Pan, uh, Panther Georgia. So, power with a with double slant behind it. Yeah. But now this guy's unaccounted for in the RPO scheme. So, the jack goes, the quarterback pulls it. Now the rover's going to either pick the ball off or he's going to separate this guy from the ball. Yeah, or he's going to separate that guy from his soul. Exactly. Yeah, so that... That so now, um, we do have you know speaking of the two by two, like we can play, and that's the thing, like we can play three or one. We can roll this guy down, and now he becomes my 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 free safety, and then he becomes the robber, which is our green. We call it green, our green robber, yeah. or we'll roll him down, roll the safety to the viper to the middle. And let him still do what he does, and just play three or one behind it, just depending on, you know what you know, what what you're doing offensively. Um, yeah. You know, so that again, that's the beauty of the defense. You you're you're very flexible, coverage wise. Like you you you, re- you really have that. Um, you know, you really have that uh, ability to be very 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 multiple in in what you're doing. Yeah, and I mean, I like the fact that you can get your best player to the point of attack or to the point in coverage, right? Like you said, if they're dudes in the slot, now you have someone to adjust with them, right? If your safety is not as good, because, you know, sometimes safeties aren't as good in coverage, you still have that that dude that can adjust to them. So, yeah, and, I like and, that. And the, our, our kid this year, it was his first year playing defense, and he ended up with 90 tackles Jeez. at that spot. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, he, he, he played is- – yeah, it's a bunch of damn tackles for a DB. Yeah, well, I mean, again, like a he's unaccounted for in anything. Like, I mean, you know, offensively, hey, we're gonna run zone read. Well, we don't care about him. We're worried about yep. this guy. He's you know not in the box. Like, he's so, not in the box count. So right, he's he's definitely not in the box count. And um, you know, it's it's just I, I like you said down in fly. Like I I so I I grew up in New Jersey. I coached there for fourteen years before moving down here and. I get, I get questions from back home all the time. Like, well, how is it? What's the difference and all that stuff? I'm like, I, I equated to the, the, the bears that hibernate in New Jersey. I said, 
in the winter time, the bears, you know, they go, they go hibernate, they put on a whole bunch of weight and then, you know, they come out in the spring, right? <laughs> Florida, we don't have that hibernation period. So we, very rarely do you see a consistent, like we were very fortunate this year. We, we, we have a division, we had a division one nose guard and a division one defensive end and division two defensive end. Like we, we were really, yeah. really fortunate with the guy, the guys that we had up front. Um, which you, you like generally you don't do that. Like back in 2020, when we had the number one defense, my my nose guard was the 135 pound state wrestling champion. Those are sometimes those are the best nose guard. Right. Those tiny wrestlers, and I don't know how or why. I mean, I've yep. had a couple of them where you're like, "There's no reason why this kid should even be on a football field and be good, but no. he's a 140 pound wrestler and he can shoot a gap and out leverage people." And they and they understand leverage, man. That's the thing. Yep. Like they. And 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 you know in the trenches, man. If you tell that you tell that wrestler nose guard to shoot a single, he's doing it. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know he's doing it. Um, so so getting back to this picture, so we'll have built-in checks like for the first couple of days, motion to the viper, motion away from the viper. So basically, if we get motion to the viper three by one, we're going to check three buzz to keep yeah. the rover in the box. Okay. If we get motion away, we're just going to check straight roll three. So come up jam this cat, roll right, he's that third, he's that third, he's this third, we have a flat defender, okay, and then that rover can stay in the box to help out with the run game. Um, again, like, the only time that we don't have three safeties on the field is is uh, is if we're playing a wing T team or a single wing team. That's the yeah. only time, like, as I got I, at the Glazier this year when I spoke in Orlando, I had a couple of single wing questions and we actually had a single wing team on last year's, so, you know, thank, thank goodness. We don't have them on anymore. Um, you, you know how it is. Like, don't coach, look at the backs. It's nightmare feel. It's nightmare yeah, don't, feel. Yeah. Don't look at the backs. Okay, coach. And you got both linebackers running, running into each other. Um, so I just said like there, there are offenses that will, that'll take you out of it, but it's for a week. It's not for four yeah. weeks because like, everybody is, 10, 11, you know, you get, you get a little bit of, I, and I, I always tell coaches this, like, you need to have a plan for 12. You yeah. need to have a plan for 12. Like it, it like when, when I first started doing this, that's when Brian Kelly first was at Notre Dame and they played Iowa state in the bowl game down here in Orlando. And then the second half, they just went straight 12 personnel and ran inside zone, I think for about 250 yards in the second half of that bowl game. Yeah, um, locally here we have a couple three high teams, and my buddy is the OC at, at the Bowl School here in Jacksonville. Okay, and that's that's his answer. He's like, "Look, we see three high. We're going to go twelve personnel for the rest of the game." So let me let, let me pop down. That's okay. That's Army. Let me get to. So um, we will, the 12, we'll do a lot of like, like, si like either simulated stuff or, yeah. you know, so like, this is a good one for us. Like the, out of the bear, um, I know, I know it's a 10 personnel picture, but, you know, we bring that rover and the safety into the box and yeah. just basically play straight cover one or we can bracket. You know, it, uh, but basically like, you know, we play, we play a little matrix, which is like, turns into kind of like a little, a little bit like one rat, but not, not fully, uh, yeah. because if we get a high hat, we're dropping, you know? Um, but yeah, so like, like that, that to us is a really good answer. Um, but you know, but again, you know, how, you know what it, it balances you up, right? Yeah. It, it, it makes you declare certain things and, um, and then like for us, There we go. Okay, so I love this. This this is a, this is our badger call. Um, when we get any type of Y, either in in on the ball or off the ball, any type of uh, attached trips or you know twenty, you know uh, eleven personnel yeah. is we take our rover and we put them on the on the wing and we play cover one or bracket and we slant everybody to the back and badger Spartan away. Now the mic is alerted on a swing to take the back, 
but we it, it's a little unorthodox but like you know we'll put both ends on the same side mike goes yeah. away from the jack our nose our viper and then we have our our rover here and then our our you know our two safeties and our, and uh and our two corners you know um but it that that's a, that's a way that and we'll stem to this coach too yeah um you know out, out of our out of our out of our, our three down look we'll, we'll move to it a lot but th this is a good answer to 12th um because you, you you're getting movement um and for the most part in 12 unless this guy steps off and in is in is a kick out like to be honest like unless you're playing like michigan you're you're yeah. getting in, you're getting inside outside zone and boot you know out of that out of that a lot of times so yeah no absolutely you know um and then uh, getting into empty because I, I know I always get questions about empty like coach how do you defend empty with all Bring this stuff? Six. So, that's how you defend it yeah so, <laughs> so yep so we have so we have Zorro and Miami so we have Zorro which is our uh, our cover zero we're bringing six you have five to block us and you know good luck um, and again and then again it goes back to like okay well, why are you going empty do you want to go you know, jet motion, uh, you know, quarterback run. You, are, are you looking for, you know, a, a, a quick throw or a quick fade shot? Like, uh, where, where's your matchup, right? So we'll give them, we'll give them Zorro, you know, and then we'll give them Miami, which is which is our our, our drop eight. Um, and the thing with Miami is the Viper is always locked on number three. So rarely do we, you know, because again, we don't have to worry about him running that bender across. Yeah, um, yeah. Because he's got, he's got, you know, and and the end away from the viper is always our flat dropper. The mic and the jack dropping their hooks. We get our safety down, banging number two. Uh, flat defender and our corners are out. Um, you know, so again, like I, I like it because what we do, a lot of what we do is the same look. So like going into, um, going into the um. Like Florida, this is our Florida front. So anytime our we yell Florida, the, the kids knew. All right, it's the nose, two ends, Mike and the Jack are on, on uh, up on the guards. And again, this, it's great because this guy, like if if I'm playing cover one, I'm playing like a delayed third with this guy. Where if this back blocks, I'm adding on to the pressure. Yeah, you're green so, dogging it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, so I mean, I you know this this reminds me a lot. It, in I forget who said it, but I was watching a thing. It was like an epiphany for me because we all do this, right? We're like, all right, he's going to walk up there and all that. But I heard a coach say it's build a bear. You know, we have the build a bear, and yep. and you look at it, coach, and here you are, you're stacked up on the box, and yeah, the linebackers are slightly off, but you're pretty much in bear there, slight variation. Yep. Um, and then right, so you're in bear, and then you're bringing the nickel. And then you have a couple twists up front. So it, it's just in line with what people said. If you build a bear a version of bear, that's usually the best pass rush. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, sorry, no, guys. no, no, I, I agree with you. Like I, I, um, I was watching coach smart at his Nike clinic, uh, on YouTube the other day, it was from a couple of years ago. And he was like, he showed the comparison from when they lost to Ohio state. Yeah. To, two years later when they won a national title and he went through like the weight of the kids and, and the type of kids and blah, 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 blah. But he said they went to Texas when Tom Herman was there. And, and oddly, you know, Herman's at FAU with, uh, you know, Todd Orlando at FAU now. Yep. Yeah. Um, and he said the one thing they took out of the odd front stuff was, and, and, and I, I love this term. He's like, there's depth in the defense. Yep. You, yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, right? If you're four down, you're four down. Yeah, you can buzz the, the boundary end of the flat, you know, every now and then. But, like, if you're four down, there's really nothing to – now, again, don't get me wrong. If you have four cats, like, giddy up. You know, you know what I mean? Like, like let, let's roll. Um, but I really like that. I love that um, that saying where he's like, yeah, you know, we have we have depth in our defense now. And then, obviously, you know, shoot what he did at the end of his career at Alabama and what he's done at Georgia. I mean – um, it's, and for me, just living in the state we live in, I want speed and athleticism on the field. Yeah. I, I want, I want guys to run. I want guys to play physical. I want us to, to, we play with an attitude, man. We play with an edge and I, I love our kids. It's, it's, it's awesome. 
Yeah, no doubt. And I, I'm with you. You know, I've, I've been a big four down guy just cause that's who we've been, but you'll see a lot of times when we get into our, our third down package, you yeah. get really odd, really quick. And people always ask me about that. I'm like, we're four down until you get to third down. Then we're probably odd because like you said, it's the best way to get different people from different angles coming yes. at the quarterback. And that's, that's what we want to do. Yeah. And, and I, I like this one too. I, th- this one I picked up from, uh, Coach Minner at Michigan when I was out there for spring football. Um, and I kind of married it into our, our Florida stuff. But, um, you know, we, we we called this Uno just like they did. And basically what we do is we we switch the linebacker to the side of the back with, with the nose. And it be, he becomes the loop contained guy. And we play cover one behind it. And the rover can either have the back and add on or we can spy the quarterback with him. So we have – everything taken care of he's got to mine the a gap but we we can give we can give him a a a specific job um yeah Yeah, we go right back to it here right like the show is a four a three two shades and a four eye and it ends up being because the jack wraps and the other two guys slant it ends up being very similar to a bear front once again man another way to build a bear but I, i love the idea of sliding the jack to the middle to let yep. him be the looper as opposed to trying to loop with the nose, right? A guy who's not built for it. Correct. You, know, you can do it sometimes, but you don't want to do it a lot. No. Yeah, I remember my last year, we had a 320-pound nose. We looped him twice the entire year. One time he fell into the play. The other time the quarterback, oh, I think he started laughing as he ran around him. So I mean, <laughs> it was, I was like, we probably shouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> it looks great on paper. But yeah. It's, no. it's, it's not great in, in practice sometimes, so. I love that aspect to it. Um, just the different ways of doing it. Coach, I love that you've been so many different places and you talk about, Hey, I picked up this from this coach and that coach. Cause that's the best part of it, right? As coaches, we're the best thieves on earth, at least yes. if you're good. And, and I tell people all the time, I've stolen it from the best of them. So, and, and maybe if I go back to coaching one day, I will have stolen a bunch of stuff from this podcast. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Well, and again, I, I think like, you know, for, for all of us that want to be really good at what we do, like, like like me like I, I i if someone's doing it better than me i want to go find and sit down with them like i i, I don't yeah. know everything like i've been coaching um high school football since 2001 and i don't know everything um and and if you're not adapting you're dying man like it, it, yeah. that's that's really what it is like so because offense is going to continually evolve there's going to be a new wrinkle with everything all the time so now, now how do we as defensive guys combat that um, but also, in a sense, make it simple for our kids to yeah. play fast. Because if they're thinking, it ain't good. Like you, the, 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 the other team, the other team's band is going to be playing, and that that's that that's never good, you know. Um, but yeah, man, I I just I I love the um, you know the the well, one thing we did, uh, I, and we're talking about you know being thieves and and you know being the best about it, but like. Coach Brown, like he came up with the havoc rate thing at Michigan. So I, I, I said, I, I called him and I said, listen, do you care if I use this? He's like, no, he's like, I don't care. He's like, you know, you know, use it. So I, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, I said, guys, listen, we're going to have a havoc rate um, at Golden Gate. And they're like, well, what's that? I said, well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to look at every game. We're going to look at how many sacks we have, how many TFLs we have, how many fumbles we cause, how many times we get off the field on third down. Um, and then, and then how many turnovers, how many turnovers we cause. And what we do is we take the number of snaps and divide that by what we did for the game. And that's our havoc rate percentage. And then I, I said, listen, so we're going to start at 30%. If we may, if we win and we get 30, we get a helmet sticker. Yeah. And then I said, if we get to 50, then we're going to get, so what I did with our kids was every Wednesday night, this, now this is something going back <laughs> to me playing in high school. Um, my linebacker coach, who's now the head coach at my high school, who was I was a DC for before I left, um, at Manasquan, we would do Wednesday night dinners, yeah. and every kid would bring something in. Now it started out with like three of us in 1995, and then when I got back to coaching, we started getting the whole defense involved because coach was doing the linebackers, I was doing the secondary. I said, "Well, look, we got to bring the big guys in. We got to bring the oh big yeah." Guys in. If, you know, food. We got to feed feed the big dogs. <laughs> so we couldn't fit it in the high school anymore. So now, Jay Price, who's the head coach there, he was a volunteer firefighter at the firehouse in town. So he's like, "Well, let's just do it at the firehouse. They got a projection screen." So 
we would get like a table and the kids would either bring food or drink or dessert from home. And it was like a buffet. It was like, it was like being at a wedding. Everyone's like, yeah. you know, and, and um, I think those, those are the things with all the stuff going on today, man, with like the portal and recruiting and NIL. And it's like, those are the things to me that are lost because at the end of the day, like Matt Hennessy, who's a head football coach at Pahuska in Oklahoma. I work with Matt for USA football. And I remember sitting in one of his talks to the parents when we were getting ready for regional camp. And I use this to this day. And he's like, folks, at some point, your son's football career is going to be over. What is he going to do? Yeah. And, and I always think about that, you know, why I, I've everywhere I've gone, I always, I've always done the Wednesday night stuff. Um, and I, I'm, I'm like, when I, and when I talk to the kids or like, coach, I remember the pizza nights or I remember my, my wife made chicken or like, we got, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. you, you know, at the end of the day, man, a lot of these kids don't have the most, you know, optimal home life and you're giving yeah. them a way to escape. And, um, you know, but like, it, it's, I, I just, I love, I love the coaching thing, man. I'm, I'm happy. Like I got coaching with my daughter, you know, um, again this year and she's super excited and uh you know so she i told her now she's 12 i said now because i just had her input stuff and, and huddle and do the tackling stats and stuff but i said now like you have to learn how to do schematics like you need to learn yeah. scheme because like we have to figure out when you get older are you going to be a scout you gonna be an analyst you want to be a coach like that's what we got to figure out <laughs> so so, but, um, yeah, man, no, I, I love that. I tell the joke all the time. I said, my wife's or my, my daughter's going to be the first, uh, first ever head football coach in college or something like that. You absolutely. Know, so. man, listen, and, 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 and what they're doing now, I mean, with Kelly Bronson and Jenna King in the NFL, like, you know, f five years from now, when she's getting ready to go to college, like, and shoot, they may hire her to be an assistant DB. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah. I can only. Yeah, I mean, you know, as your as their dad, you all you can do is hope the best for him and help him out. You know, at, at the end of the day, but, um, you know, but like, yeah, I, like it's going back to the the coverage stuff. You know, as we saw with the powerpoints, man, like it is, it, it gives you against the spread game, it gives you a tremendous advantage with the numbers. And um, one thing that we we do a, a really good job of, and, and our, our our coaching staff, a really good coaching staff last year. Um, is we don't substitute like our linebackers when we get to our four two five stuff, like our Dan Lanning stuff. Like, yeah, one of those guys has to go out and play play a five technique. And um, when we get into our Badger or our Bear stuff or our double mug a gap stuff. Like, um, one thing, one coaching point I can make is when you decide what guy is going to be up on the line, you need to send them with the D line coach for at least a day. Yes. Because they got to learn not to get reached. They got to learn how to squeeze in, you know, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming you, you were a spill guy. Um, you yeah, know, yeah. you know, you, know, you got to be able to squeeze and spill. You got to learn if, if you're in the pass rush, what's your lane, what's your landmark, you know, how you're going to rush the passer. Like, like, don't just say, Hey, go down and play five technique. Yeah. Coach. I look, I got a really good story on that. And I tell this I story it. a lot. I, we go through a year, pretty good defense. I'm at Oakleaf High School here in Jacksonville, and did you have go to a, did you have Shaquille Quarterman at Oakleaf High School? No, I was I was after Shaq. I wish I wish. Okay, we had some jarring players was a though. Dude, I I had Chance Williams, who was a four star that went to Miami. Um, yes. who did he, he ended up hitting the portal, uh, but great kid. Um, I just don't think he found the field there. You know, I haven't talked to him, but yeah. I had a lot of kids, you know, so I had, a, I had a bunch of FCS kids and things, but so I go to a clinic and I don't know who the Auburn, it was the Auburn's linebacker coach at the time. And I go up there and I think it's just me and him. And then after the conversation, I realized there's like 15 coaches behind me. So this was my super embarrassing moment. I said, coach, you know, we, we play really well on defense. Our linebackers play well, but we just don't, we don't rush well in, you know, when we blitz and he's like, well, how many you know, how much time do you spend with them in India on blitz stuff? And how many times do you send them down to one-on-ones with the O-line on like pass rush one-on-one? -on -one? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I don't coach. And he's like, well, then how do you expect them to get any better? And it was something I needed. 
But, boy, I turned around, and there's 25 coaches standing there. I've never been so embarrassed as a coach in my life. I'll tell you what, we got really good at it after that because I did it a lot. Yeah. But it's exactly what you said. If if you're not thinking of what they're doing in the game and making them do it in practice, you're not yeah. doing a good job as a coach. And this is me saying it when I was not doing a good job as a coach, so I can admit that now. But I will never forget that story, and we will never not send our linebackers to one-on-ones a couple times a week and let them just purely pass rush against their linemen. Because, yeah, boy, no. did I feel stupid. Well, and I think probably about 24 <laughs> of the guys behind you were, were making the same mistake. Um, you know, It didn't feel like that at the time, though. <laughs> sure, because, you know, they're, they're, oh, well, we do that. You know, you know, the, you know we, we do that. We do this. We do that. You know, so. But, yeah, no, I, I, I think the um, putting them in the best position, position to be successful. Yep. Um, and, again, you, you, there, there's never the perfect call, right? You know, um, when you have really good players, you're a really good coach. You know, yeah. the, like, <laughs> like this year, our defense, we had, you know, the D-line, we had, you know, 80% of them are going to go play college football somewhere. So, like, they're good kids. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, you know, but, um, yeah, like, I, I, can, I can remember, it was funny you brought up Coach Saban. So, I was, I spoke at the Nike clinic in Orlando right after the pandemic. Yeah. So, like, it was, like, one of the first clinics in Florida. And they're like, hey, come to Orlando. And I'm like, awesome. So they're like, we're going to give you the schedule. You're going to do this. You do that. So um, I get my schedule for day one. I'm like, okay, I got this down. Day two, I look. And it's like, uh, and I, I took a picture of the program. And it's me. And then it's Coach Saban right after me. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to probably throw up, you know. Maybe what you <laughs> so, um. So like I, I get up there and I got my I got my laptop and I'm getting ready to to get rolling now. And you know how it is. Like once you get rolling, you're you're good. You don't really yeah. kind of, so now I'm starting to close because I get you know, I get this from the guy in the back, like meaning like there's like 30 seconds left or whatever. Yeah. And I and I kind of like peripheral vision and I see coach with the GA because his laptop is coming up next. He, he was doing the whole Rick Liz talk. Yeah. And I just start, I mean bullets i mean i am like <laughs> sweating bullets because i'm like don't screw this up don't say anything stupid one of the guys you admire the most <laughs> in it, in this whole sport is standing like 10 feet from you you know and he's got his arm he's got his quarter zip on his arms crossed and he's you know watching and um but i gotta say man he could have been, he could not have been more just like because everybody wanted to take a picture everybody yeah. wanted to sign something but he literally spent like two or three minutes with me and i just was like Wow. Like it, it was, it was, it was awesome. Like he is such a good dude. Um, but you know, um, I think a lot of, have you, have you watched the, um, HBO max special with him and Belichick? Yeah. About 15 times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me too. <laughs> I, my wife yells at me when we, when we order HBO max, so that's the only reason I'm ordering it. Um, but I really love that clip when they're sitting in his office and they're like, the got the young coaches today don't understand the work like the like that you and I were huddle before there was huddle. Yeah. Right? Like we were the, this guy, you know, on 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 our sheets and um he, he, they don't understand like burning DVDs or like you know when I when I first started coaching I had to go drive VHSs and just yep. like those guys <laughs> had to go drive somewhere to get the 8 millimeter developed, you know, or 60 yeah. millimeter, you know, you know what I mean? Um, I think there's a lot of, um, guys that want to put the cart before the horse in a sense. Yeah. Like, well, well, I was a linebacker coach for a year, so I can be a defense coordinator. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, here you go. You know, you know, you know, have at it. You know what I mean? Like, um, but yeah, man, I, I, I just, the, the, our, our, the, this defense, if, if anyone listening to the podcast wants to zoom or talk ball, or like, if you have, um, undersized linemen uh with a lot of skill and a lot of speed this this defense will give give offense especially spread offense will give them a ton of problems um yeah. i'm gonna i want to show show this coach real quick um yeah we got plenty of time don't worry yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> baby's asleep right yeah i'm i'm a right, night so owl anyway so i'm I'm normally up till midnight after we get off this i'm probably gonna start cutting up things and watching more film so love it love it love it um, you need to give me your. I know we'll, we'll talk about the quick cut deal, but I, I, I'm gonna. Uh, I want to. I want to hook you up with that. 
Um, okay, so where is that's okay. So th this is a, 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 a Georgia. I we got this from Coach Lanning. Um, we we run this. This is Bam, this is Bama and Panther. So this is Panther. So Panther to the passing strength. Bama is to the back. But um, and the best part about it is it's the same blitz. Just where do you want to send it? You want to send it to yeah. the passing strength. You want to send it to the back. Now we are we are uh, trap all around. Um, we get we, this guy's a real wide edge rush, and we bring our viper underneath, and then our nose here, and then we go jab step with the jack under with the end getting over top for contain. Um, but we're playing trap. And then the, the mic and the rover are either cut to two or cut to three. Now, obviously, the mic's cutting to two, rover's cutting to three, and three by one, and vice versa if the trips are over here. But two by two, rover would be cutting to two, mic would be cutting to three. And they start creeping. The mic knows here he's gapped up. Yeah. So he can kind of start, he, he can be a little bit more aggressive in the cut. But again, coach, you know, like if they're going to they're gonna go three vert. This cat is running that, that cover three beater look, that that closed middle look. So he don't have to be really shuffling past his a gap because you know, we got to stop the run. But yeah. I like this because it's the same call for our kids. It's like, and and by the time we get into August, I don't even have to call Georgia. They just know Panthers out of the four two five. You know, so it, it, it's so like Baylor for us is three down. Georgia is four down. Florida is the front we talked about with the pressure before. Bear yeah. is there. Badger is Badger. UMass is our, our mugged front. Or if we if the other UMass call for us is if we want to get our four best pass rushers on the field. So like it's either UMass or Tampa, depending on on what on what we want to call it. But we got you know uh, chaos. We got hurricane. Um, Ozzy for us is. Um, bracket to the to the single receiver side three by one and basically playing man under here uh to, to this side so it's just another way to get like you know you get like third and seven your tendency is like hey they want to throw the out cut to, to to the single receiver or hey they want to try yeah. a bender you know what i mean like it, it's just it, it's 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 trying to do our best to stop them um but yeah and then but, you know going back to you don't have to go back to the thing but talking about your first one there um that obviously was a huge popular thing by michigan the ravens were big on it too right bringing five playing trap two behind it and obviously i know they're kind of all mcdonald and mentor and all those guys are all from the same family yep. and uh yeah i got a unique you know unique piece there because uh one of my buddies is a scout for the seahawks and now McDonald's oh, cool. there. So I, I can't wait to talk to him more about it. He's like, well, you, you know, you know, I can't give you, I said, I'm not asking for anything. I said, I just, I just, you know, I'm going to ask questions. All right. That's it. <laughs> fly out. Fly. So, uh, so funny story. And this is why football in <laughs> coaching is a small world. So Chris Partridge is a really good friend of mine. He just, he was hired by the Seahawks to be the linebacker coach. We both uh, grew up uh, the same time in New Jersey. Um, and he was, he was coaching at, Paramus Catholic, he had Peppers and uh, yeah. Gary at Paramus, you know. Um, but I was happy that Chris landed there, and he's a good dude. But, yeah, like, I, I think in high school football, I think two trap, it, it's, it's, it takes away all the quick, easy throws for the quarterback, um, especially in the boundary if you're not going to drop that uh, end or jack to yeah. one. You know, like, I, I really think that trip. Because, again, and, and the thing is, too, is you get extra run fit. You know what I mean? Like, cause those yeah. guys, they see run, like they're they giddy up, they're coming, you know? Yeah. I, I actually wrote an article on this the other day, you know, in, in my version, when we call trap that tells that corner, if you get any run action, treat it like a corner blitz, you're gone. Hundred percent. Just go. I, 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 I agree a million, yeah. a million percent. Yeah. Like that's the same way as the same way I coach my kids. Like, cause the thing is we, we start out with our, and I, I'm sorry, I didn't get to this in the beginning, but no, you're fine. Um, <laughs> we, we, we start out in, Every every coverage call for us, we start out and press too high. Yeah. So for our kids, like no matter what we call it, blue, green, Tampa, gold, yellow, like unless it's like sticks, we are outside leverage press too high. And I like that because now my kid doesn't have to think that, oh, it's cover three. I have to line up like this. And <laughs> I think it puts us at, at an advantage against the offense because 
you're seeing open middle every time, and we're big post snap rotation if we're going to rotate. Yeah, and all our pressures marry up with coverages. So like Panther and Bama marry up with trap. Yeah, Florida can marry with cover three or cover one. Same thing with Uno. Say, you know what I mean? Like so, that's why I was saying like we don't. I don't have to call the front once we get into the season because the kids they 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 automatically know. Yeah, and that's become a big piece of it. You know, you everyone's heard Kirby talk about it and all these other guys, and you kind of get the same way, right? The call is really long when you first install it. You get to yep. week three and you're just like, bah. Like, you know, right? We've we've had like, yeah. you know, flex seven bracket cobra, and then, you know, by the time you hit the season, it's cobra. Everyone right. knows, hey, we know we're in flex, we know we're cover seven, we're running bracket, Everybody. like Everybody. cobra's Everybody. corner blitz. Let's go. I, so yeah, I, I tell you, I really enjoyed my time up at Florida with those guys, um, you know, cause we, we did, I, I, I'd never really run a whole lot of the seven stuff and we yeah. had a really good secondary this year. So I was like, you know what, let's give it a shot. The kids are athletic n- n- enough to handle it. And we, they picked it up and, and did, they did a really, really good job. And um, I think that at the high school level with the two trap, man, I mean, you got, <laughs> You can master those two things in the back end, man. You you're 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 ahead of the game. Yeah, and you know it's everyone gets caught, and I, I talk to people all the time. They're like, "How many coverages did you carry?" And I was like, "We covered, a, you know, we carried a lot." People are like, "Well, my kids can't do it." Yeah, they can. You just got to teach it, and That's you easy. know, you can carry a lot or a little. And I'm with you. Some years we carried more than others. Yep. Um, but you know, it was like, look, I cared way more about teaching it to the kids than I did about other stuff. And like, we spent a lot of time together and. I would have them, you know, in the off season on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we would have film sessions. It was 22 minutes. I kept it short. I provided popcorn and it was like, we're only going to watch college and pro film and kids would show up. And I would say, all right, I'd pause it. Go, all right, what coverage is this? And they're like, Oh coach, that's our, whatever. I'm like, Perfect. That's what it is. Yeah. And we were able to teach you that, but I was smart. 22 minutes, coach. Kids don't have an attention span longer. Oh, than no 22 no. minutes and feed them. You'll get them yep. past and, that. And, and, you, you might as well wander yeah. out into the woods. That's that's it's like the with the practices. It's like if 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 you go over two hours, man, you're asking a for someone to get hurt, yeah, or or b just an absolute just cluster because they're they're done. Like they are, like so. That's I, I would say like hour and forty five, yeah, hour and forty five, man. Yep. And, and and I I don't know what you think about this. Like I I I have not done seven on seven, um, until I got to since I moved to Florida. Um, until I got to community school this spring, I was a big, um, I'm a big pattern match guy. Yeah. Um, and the reason why, and, and, and obviously jump in with what you think, but I think the, the participation in high school football is, is dropping. Um, I also think pattern match with no JV quarterback throwing the ball up for the JV receiver to get his clock cleaned also helps in retention Yeah, for your program. So Every school I've been at in Florida, um, I've, I've told the head coach that I'm like, and then the one year I was the head coach, so we were going to do it regardless. Um, I said, guys, like, why why do we need the JV quarterback to throw a lob up to this kid that can't catch so the senior safety can come over and clean his clock? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't. Uh, we always did good be good. If we didn't, we did it real short. Uh, look, Coach, I'm with you. Skelly, for me on air like you know what i really liked is when we did skelly with like we would do half o line and half the d line and they would actually pass rush and then we would do full field skelly with it i loved that a lot more because the quarterback had a sense of urgency so did everyone else plus we were working pass rush and as a dc who wanted to be on the dbs end because i'm a db guy i could also watch the d line and so i loved working that i thought it was a better drill but we talk about it all the time again i I referenced my buddy from bowls uh, Skelly is kind of one of those things like get in, get out. Let's get to the next thing. Like team is way more important. And then we're the same way as you coach. We're, we're heavy feed the cats guys. I don't know if you know what that is. Um, so it's uh, just the concept that, you know, you only sprint so much during a practice and then you kind of move on. So we're always talking about how do we have the perfect practice? Like you said, in an hour and 40 minutes and get everything in that we need to get in and get yeah. the kids out and keep them rested all week long. Yeah. And so I, I'm right there with you. And it's it's always a balance of how you do that and still teach, but you know that's that's the pursuit of perfection, right? Is how do that's you get it, there? <laughs> that's it. No, that's it. No, um, I love it, Coach. 
Um, yeah. So, hey, we you kind of answered it earlier, but I'm asking you the question anyways. We answer we end every podcast with the same question. What's one thing that your program does that's unique that not a lot of other people do? And it can be anything across the board, Coach. It does not have to be football. doesn't have to be anything in particular. And I know you kind of talked about the Wednesday nights already, but I'm curious if yeah. you have anything else. Well, so, I, so I'll go back. So I'll do the Golden Gate from the fall, and I'll talk about – I'll give you two answers. I'll give you yeah. the Golden Gate from the fall and CSN and strength. Um, the obviously Golden Gate in the fall would be the Wednesday nights, uh, the dinners, um, you know, building a relationship with, with the kids and let them see you outside of football. Um, yeah. you know, I was, I would always have my kids around, you know, let them see me as a dad. Um, you know, so I think that, um, and then CSN, um, you know, just being there for the last two and a half months, um, I would say like the, uh, there's a couple things, man. Like the, it, it is truly the first place I've been to that we have an actual college practice atmosphere. Like it, it, it's like, and again, at, at every place I've been has been well, well organized and the, the, the coaches have done a good job, but like the head coach I work for now, he played at Missouri. He was a coach at Missouri. Like he, it is truly run because he wants to get the kids prepared for that type. So like, to, like I'm, I'm going to weights tomorrow, like it's 6am weights and it's, they lift for 90 minutes and then they go shower and they eat breakfast and they go to school. And then we get to do film and they have practice. And it's the first time moving since I moved down here that it's, I actually feel like a college football coach, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and, uh, we, we do have a lot as a private school. We do have a lot of resources at our expense and the kids um, take full advantage of them. Um, but yeah, I would say that I would say that Wednesday night dinners with the bonding with the kids at Golden Gate and then the um, college football experience, you know, Mike, Mike does a phenomenal job with his weight program and, and, and what he does for the kids and what he does with his resources. And um, it's, it's, it's really something that if, if you ever want to drive down and, and take a look, man, it, it's, it's cool. Like he does a phenomenal job as a head coach. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's a it, it, two great answers. And, you know, as much as we ask that question, it's never truly about pure football. It's always about some organizational thing or some culture sure. thing, which is what I love. Uh, you know, so many people equate coaching just to X's and O's and calls on Friday nights. And I'm like, guys, that's 10% of it at best. Sure. Yeah. So well, Coach, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, if you guys want to reach out to Coach, he's on Twitter. It's His first one is at Coach PJ Gibbs, and then he also has the at Gibbs defense. And, again, that's the fast and physical three safety defense if you want to reach out to Coach about anything like that. If you're one of those bashful types and you want to reach out to us, you can reach us at the board drill podcast at gmail.com, at board drill pod on Twitter. We're also on TikTok. We keep talking about how we're shadow banned. We need to get some views up. So if you're a TikTok guy anywhere out there that's listening, hop on TikTok, give us some likes. Um, and also, if you're still listening, go ahead and like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribes we get, the better it goes. And hopefully when we get uh, you know some more viewers, uh, we'll get Coach Gibbs to want to come back on. Uh, so. <laughs> you call so me Coach tomorrow, man. I'll come back on tomorrow. It'll be good. <laughs> Coach, we'll have everybody on as much as they want. Me and Matt have a goal to do 52 coaches in 52 weeks this year, which means we're going to have to get out ahead of them for fall because we yeah. know come fall, not as many people want to talk to us, but uh, we're, we're going to do our best to have 52 episodes this year. So, I Coach, thanks again for coming on. We appreciate your time and have a great night. Yes, sir. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it.